guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, make sure you visit podcastformarketers.com. For more information over there, I have a really kick-ass course on how you can make at least a few grand a month on simple reoccurring revenue, right? And that's called Freedom Funnels. And make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel, man. I'm put out videos every day. So you don't want to miss what I put up because I put out some pretty um, kick-ass content. And man, I always want you guys to comment below, man. I love, absolutely love all the comments you guys bring. Let me know what you're thinking. If you have any questions, I'm always in the comment section. I really love the community. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So <laughs> we're going on a field trip today. My wife is making fun of my bus. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, we're going on a field trip today because what I want to do is show you some. This is, now, this is a series of videos that I'm doing on tips on how you can make passive um, income online with your own social media doing what you like, right? So, this is, um, uh, this is the series. This is tip number two in the steps that you need to take. So there's three steps in total. All right, so this would be actually step number two. There you go. Step number two and how you can start, right? So I wanna take a field trip and show you some channels to give you kind of some ideas that it really doesn't matter. And what I want you to do when I show you these channels is actually go watch the fucking channels, right? It's really important that you watch just a second of either one of these videos so you can see the personalities and they're not faking it. They're really, all right, let's move on. You'll see for yourself. All right, so um, this lady right here is hilarious, right? So she's Titley. <laughs> you see her name right there, right? And she has the bread kitchen and you see she has 57,000 subscribers let me see if you guys can hear her really quickly youtube channel about just one thing and only one thing bread so if you're interested in bread <laughs> jesus christ she makes me laugh every time right so my wife was on a bread kick and this is how we found her channel and then she might only had a couple thousand subscribers right today she has fifty-seven thousand subscribers and you see two years ago she's been around quite a while now she hasn't posted in a while, uh, which is really weird, but she was posting pretty regularly. And you can see 20,000 views, 19,000 views, 50,000 views, because she's just a bread lady, right? But she has another channel where she's gardening, and I think she wanted to spend more time with her gardening channel than she did with this. But a very strong personality, and all she's doing is showing how to bake bread, and she's doing her thing, right? The bread kitchen, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Scrambled O, another strong character. If I can show you in the beginning, he has this little saying, goes, folks, a scrambled O, checking in. He does it in the beginning of his videos, real strong character, but all he does is cook outside. He's bushcrafting, right? Grilling steak on wood and, you know, it's what he packs cooking breakfast in the morning. That's how he kind of got started. He, he hasn't posted in too much. It's really, he normally posts pretty regularly, but I remember when he only had like a thousand, 2000 subscribers, then his channel blew up with one video he did with the bushcraft cooking outside, right? He did one video where he was cooking outside. Everybody loved it. Everybody kind of watches, um, uh, pe love watching people like catching cook and fishing and so on and so forth. I don't know why, but it's just a thing, right? So he's showing how to dehydrate bananas or whatever, but it's all about outdoorsy stuff, right? And there he is. That's the checking in face right there, <laughs> right? Yeah, he'll be like, silly hack. It's a silly life hack. And it's really, the dude is hilarious, right? You need to watch at least, <laughs> there's that face again, right? <laughs> all right, let's see if I can catch it up. There you go. Alright, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You gotta kinda watch it on your own. This dude is hilarious. You and my wife and I like laughing, right? So here's another guy that's not so happy, 
right? And all he does, well, he is kind of, but he had like Lyme disease or something, right? Another guy that I saw come up from a little to no subscribers, right? And all he does is show himself fishing and hunting. That's it. And he doesn't show himself too often. His normal thing is doing it from a point of view and what you see right here. And then he's just having a good time fishing, catching fish, bringing them in. And you'll hear him chuckle and laugh like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Blah. He talks to the camera. I told you to do the buzz bait. <laughs> and he laughs. Just a regular normal character, right? I just wanted to show you like, the, like he's not like. Hey, man, listen, the, the playing field is totally level. He's just a normal, average, everyday guy, right? And he's been fishing and hunting since he's been a kid. It's what he likes to do. 31,000 subscribers. All right, so this guy right here, another really strong character, and he talks about raw f You know what's funny is that if you're watching what I watch on YouTube, you can see what I like, right? <laughs> It's really weird. I'm like, how do you know about these guys, Sonny? Well, I watched this shit. So he's talking about raw foods, like a raw food diet, which is what I'm on right now. Just nothing but raw vegan foods, right? Besides my occasional beef jerky uh, habit I have right now. <laughs> I juice, you know, drinking water, you know, all this stuff. That's all he talks about. He does juicer reviews. Um, and he... Yeah, blenders, and he's got a huge garden, man. His garden is awesome. Um, cornball, wait. So, okay, yeah, now he's not going to show it. He normally shows his garden. It's huge. Um, and <laughs> he does long-ass videos like I used to do, right? Or normally, I normally do long-ass videos. So, guys will come up. Okay, the good shit is that, you know, you see these hour-long videos, right? And some are long, some are short. The, the good shit is at minute 16 or whatever. So another normal, just regular guy talking about what he likes, growing, growing and eating healthy food. That's it, right? All right, so here's another interesting dude. And there's a lesson in this as well, though, right? So if you look down here, this dude had a boat called, the, uh, he had a narrow boat, narrow boat Tilly, right? And he talked about um, here, and you can see he had 12,000 views. 1,000 views, a little bit more here, usually on average 2,000, 3,000 views. He had quite a few subscribers, right? And he was talking about pretty much what it was like living in a narrow boat in the canals in the, in the UK. Well, he decided to sell his narrow boat and he lost a lot of subscribers. And now you can see he's not getting as many views as he was getting before, but you need to watch him. This dude is a really strong, kind of weird character. And he sold a book. There he is. My Secret Boat Life uh, Revealed. And he wrote a book and he sells the book online. Um, and he has a couple of them that he wrote. Um, and he writes a diary. And he talks about it. Um, you see he's like crying here. Just watch it. And all he does is talk about his life, really, right? He's vlogging. And he makes money doing it. And he has 15,000 subscribers. Here's one of our favorite guys right here, right? This will show you that age doesn't matter. Juanello is probably, I'm going to guess, 50-ish. And really strong character. Um, he tells a story pretty much every time he does a video. I remember when he had 2,000 subscribers. So what he does is, is he's on a low-carb diet. He goes and catches the fish. He shows himself, catch the fish most of the time, right? Uh, and then he guts the fish, cleans it, and makes a dish out of it, right? And he cooks the fish for uh, his wife, who is right here, and she's the uh, uh, the 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 food critic, right? It's a whole little story, and he's like Quartner, and uh, it's just a cute story. Watch the videos, right? And it's a really cute story that he does. They always end up with a hug. And this is a 50-year-old, and they've probably been together 50 years. And look, everybody loves his channel, right? Now, I wanted to give you an example of somebody that didn't show their face online. And this is 
one of those type of channels, right? So this is, again, uh, how to cook vegan, eating healthy, 91,000 subscribers. And you can see they're even not even like posting videos every day, but it looks like one a week is what they're posting here. And they don't show uh, their faces. They just show what they're going to cook, right? And that's it. And they show what they're using. Obviously, they're getting some type of a deal here. And that's it. That's a wrap. And they do a voiceover over the top so you can hear. Oh, actually, this is music. But usually there's a voiceover over the top about what they're doing and how they're cutting. Then slice it in half lengthwise and remove the seats. All right, so there's a little bit of music and a voiceover over the person that's doing um, doing the videos. 91,000 views, you're gonna get endorsements, you're gonna get, you can sell other products, you can sell whatever you, whatever you desire. You can, a cookbook, you see that one dude wrote a book about himself and, and being on a, a boat, right? On, a, on a, a, a canal boat. So I didn't wanna make this a super long video. I just wanted to go over a few tips on what it was like and who did what and like some things were obvious like this fishing thing here but this dude calls himself scrambled o and he just likes being outdoors right um and he's got a really strong character he's funny as hell right the thing about it my wife mentioned this is that you don't have to fake it just be yourself if you happen to be weird that's cool don't think you need to hide that weirdness though People like that shit. You're going to find your own audience. If you've always felt like most people in your circle feel like you're kind of weird, well, you're going to love YouTube because those people aren't, the people on YouTube are going to think that you're a weirdo. They're going to like what you do and they're going to comment, right? So, um, also, this lady right here. <laughs> so, if you're a woman and you think that you can't do it, here is a middle-aged woman with 57,000 subscribers making bread. She's like your grandma, right? Making bread, having a good time, doing what she likes to do, not showing out, doing anything different. Women are actually leading on social media. You guys know that. Instagram, it's all about the women, right? So women get out there. Don't be scared. And I showed a variety here of young people, um, middle-aged people, women, Older people, it doesn't matter. Young men, older women, young women, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be uh, the Kardashians in order to make money online. So I just want to give you a few ideas and kind of show you that it doesn't have to be about making money online. It doesn't have to be about even a big niche. Who would have thought that you could make money on just showing people how to make bread? Crazy. I can't do this channel though because I just get too fat. Coffee break.